so please give it up for Harry! Hello? Yes. Okay, um, lots of people have heads. I mean, the 19th century, there were lots of people in Europe, naturally. <laughs> Unfortunately, most of them were very, very poor. But um, people like Karl Marx, who inspired people like him, aspired to make them equal-ish, <laughs> depending on their contributions to society. Um, unfortunately, um, the aristocracy opposed this because they were little big things and they and that's all little big things want to do they just want to hold on to the little big things they have and also there was the bourgeoisie in the form of corporations now they didn't have KFC and Vodafone because they hadn't been invented but they had East India Company and others. <laughs> Religion also had a very influential role in the society because the Pope controlled Catholic Europe and it wasn't that much different to medieval times. Um, there were railways as well. <laughs> um, banks. Uh, yeah, in the 1840s there's a thing called railway mania where Britain built lots of railways and had lots of, uh, There was more snow in the winter as well because global warming hadn't been set in by the expanding industry and children could play on sculptures made out of the rapidly diminishing forests that had to meet demands of growing society. And, <laughs> and uh, new, uh, because of expansion into places such as Asia, foods such as curries became available to everybody, even Ivor and <laughs> others. And streets all had cobblestone floors, and old buildings and miserable women outside. <laughs> And sometimes, uh, oh god, uh, the, um, the benefits of fruit had not been discovered then, so people ate very, very unhealthily. They had beef on the Harry Evans, ladies and gentlemen.